welcome to story time. Can you join me with the welcome song and then we'll get started? We welcome you here. We welcome you here. We welcome everybody. We welcome you here. All right, good job. And our story today is titled The Most Perfect Snowman by Chris Britt. Drift was the loneliest of snowmen. Made from the first blustery snow of winter, he'd been built fast and then forgotten. With only two skinny stick arms, a small mouth and eyes made of coal. Drift dreamed of wearing a stylish hat, scarf, and mittens just like the other snowmen. Most of all, he dreamed of having a pointy orange carrot nose. If only I had that, I'd be perfect, he thought. All the other snowmen were much fancier than Drift and would giggle at him with frosty glee. Nice nose, love your style, snazzy outfit. Was that nice of them? I don't think so. Dressed in their finery, they would have snowy fashion parades, snowball fights, and snowman dances that lasted all night. But Drift was never included. See him back there? I think he looks sad. So he spent his days alone, swishing and sliding through the wintry woods often stopping in the shadows to watch the others laugh and play. One morning, three bundled up children walked by. What do you think they're gonna do? What a plain looking snowman, said one little girl. You need a hat. Here, take mine. The hat was blue, fluffy, and toasty warm. It fit perfectly. And you can have my mittens said a little boy. They were so snuggly, Drift raised his arms in the air and he smiled. The last girl turned to Drift. Why don't you take my scarf? It felt soft and cozy as she placed it around his neck. She looked at him for a moment. Hmm, something's missing. What do you think's missing? You guys figure it out? Then reaching into her coat pocket, she pulled out the most pointy orange carrot nose that Drift had ever seen. And she squished it into place. Now you're the perfect snowman. The other snowmen watched in astonishment. All afternoon, Drift played with the children. He had never been so happy. See him playing? But soon the dark clouds rolled in and his new friends turned to walk back home. Drift thanked them and waved goodbye. Can you wave goodbye to the kids? Bye. That night a terrible blizzard began to blow. Ice snowflakes ripped out Drift's new hat and mittens and tossed them into the air. Oh no, Drift gasped. He set out on a mission to look for his missing clothes. He looked up in the trees. Can we look up? He looked up. And he looked down in a stream. Can you look down? Did he find it? Over the hills and under the bushes, but they were gone. Oh well, Drift sighed. At least I still have my beautiful new scarf and nose. Then, through the howling wind, Drift heard a whisper soft voice. I'm lost. Can you help me, please? Who do you think it was? It was a tiny bunny. It looked frightened and shivery cold. The bunny needed a safe place to survive the night. 
but there was no shelter to be found. Drift took off his scarf and wrapped it gently around the bunny. There, now you'll stay warm. Then he heard a faint growl. It was the bunny's tummy. Drift star stared into the frosty night. He knew what he had to do. He reached up, removed his last remaining gift, and he gave his new friend something to eat. And he became the most perfect snowman of all. Wasn't that nice of him? The end. All right, do you guys want to sing the weather song? Let's look out our windows. Hmm. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it windy? Is it rainy? Is it sunny out today? Well, right now it kind of looks like it might be a little rainy. All right. Well, thank you for joining me for story time today. And now it's time to say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye until next time. Don't forget to check out Miss Morgan on Thursdays and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks, bye.